Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's Bernie and Casey coming to you this week with a very special edition of Breaking News. Lance is in Phoenix, but I nonetheless have Casey Quinn here with me, and we're going to give you some huge breaking news on Google and their play against Amazon, specifically in Europe. Casey, tell the people what's going on. So, as we remember from April, Google opened up their free shopping mm. listings in America, yep. which meant that retailers, online sellers, they can put their products on Google free of charge. Yes. Similar to the way that you don't get charged to have your site indexed on Google search. Uh -huh. Now you can put your products on Google search. So. so they started with the Google shopping tab and then those product results started filtering more and more into the search results. Okay. Now Google's announcing that they're taking that party on a global scale. Wait a second. So you mean to tell me that if I am an e-commerce retailer here in the States, I can then sell my products in Europe? I believe so. And more so if you're a retailer in Europe, Asia, now you can sell your products on Google. You can list them free of charge. So let's just say hypothetically someone over there had a shop that was a... A guitar shop. A guitar shop. Someone who had a guitar shop over in Europe and they wanted to list their products. Someone over here could then buy it and vice versa. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Right. And, and we know that this is a play going against Amazon. We know that Google is trying to take a bigger chunk of that e-commerce space from Amazon. They are. Absolutely dominating the global market. Yeah, that's a really good way to put it, Casey. They are absolutely dominating it. However, we know that as they're opening up these free product <sighs> listings to retailers online, mm -hmm. more and more people's products are going to be showing in similar categories. So that means when Bernie's trying to sell his guitars online, there it is again. You might be throwing a couple ad spend dollars behind that in the very near future so that you don't get lost in the noise. Well, I mean, you know, there is obviously going to be a long term paid play in here somewhere because we just saw Google take their LSA program and now they're introducing bidding to it. It's beta testing right now. They're con they're going to roll that out, uh, but they are making changes to that. So there is going to be a long term paid play here and that is going to play itself out in a very interesting way, I think. Um, and that was a perfect transition, Bernie, because our second bit of breaking news coming from the Google camp is that they're opening up Google local service ads, LSAs, as you know, we talk about them all the time. They're taking them to Europe. Oh, so you can have local services ads in Europe now. So we've seen tremendous success with our clients in the local services yes. program. We know that Google originally had it open to the home services space. Mm -hmm. They expanded recently into the pro services they space. Did. Now in Europe, they're opening it for the home services space. So now, Casey, you and I are kicking around this a little bit before we jumped on camera here. Um, there's something interesting about privacy going on there, right? Or uh, in terms of Europe and what Google's doing with the data and vetting. Absolutely. So just like you can, uh, you got to get vetted here if you want to be in the local services ads. For instance, you'll get a background check, anybody that's going to be in someone's house. Yep. Um, Google goes through a pretty extensive process of vetting their vendors that are going to be in their local services ads programs. Tell everybody about what's going on on the European so, side. So in order to get enrolled in Google's local services program in the United States, where it was originally rolled out, you had to be verified by a third party. Yep. So all licenses, background checks, that all went through a third party. Uh-huh. We knew that it was like a two week or so process in yep. order to get through. What we learned now is that with these 16 home services verticals that they're opening up the LSA program for in Europe, yep. Google's taking it in-house, the verification. So what we know so far, and I cannot wait to dig deeper into this, Google, by doing the verifications and doing the background checks themselves, maybe it's gonna speed up the process, but more importantly, Google's now getting access to data from these European companies. They are countries. getting data. They are getting access to data from European countries, which is crazy. So, so n it's crazy for me to hear that an American company is now going to be given access to user data from these European countries, from the governments themselves. Yeah. Now, what data it is that they're going to get access to, how they're going to be using it, that's up in the air. We'll see how this plays out. I know the Europeans, they have a bunch of, it's different over there for advertisers. Absolutely. So it's going to be interesting to see what the people, A, think about this and B, how this is used long term. And Bernie, it's important to note that Google's opening up this local services program to Europe because over the past year, they've seen more than a 25% increase in local services searches in Europe. Wow. Um, and Casey, we do have one more piece of breaking news in first place in the NFC East. Who saw this coming? Who saw this one coming? I mean, by by the looks of it, I don't know how much longer they're gonna be holding on to that. They're not gonna be holding spot. on to it. However, as Philly fans, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hold on to hope for just a little bit longer. We are okay, Casey. Thank you for joining me this week, Lance. I hope you're having fun down there in Phoenix. Um, we will see you soon, everybody. I'll see you next week for the next edition of Breaking News. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to follow me at Lance Bachman on Instagram and Twitter. 
Follow me on Facebook, at Lance Bachman Digital. And every Thursday we drop a new podcast. Don't forget to listen to it. We're giving out great content. And remember this, this is the time to build your business right now. Let's effing go, everybody.